Hey everybody, how you doing? Chris Truder here, communications expert in Japan. How is everybody? Are you staying cool in the hot weather? It's going to be 34 degrees again today. I went out today. It was a scorcher. But uh, anyway, I, yeah, I like summer vacation. The kids are having a great time. And, uh, and uh, today it's... Uh, July 20, I'm sorry, July 31st, last day of July, Wednesday, and it's lunchtime. Actually, I just I usually do this at 8.30 in the morning. Now it's 1 p.m., so maybe no one's going to be watching me. So I wanted to do this earlier, but uh, had lunch today, fell asleep, took a little nap, and now I'm refreshed. So today I want to talk about um, negotiation techniques. I it's been a while. I forget which episode it was, but I talked about the technique of mirroring. Today, I want to talk about the technique of labeling. And again, this is from this book, uh, Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if Your Life Depended on It by Chris Voss. Just a reminder, uh, Chris Voss was an FBI uh, terrorist hostage negotiator who then went to Harvard, uh, Harvard Business School, taught some classes on negotiation, basically using the techniques he used in the FBI and, it, and his stories in this book, his story and also his techniques for negotiation. So today I want to talk about labeling, remembering uh, technique number one, mirroring is when your counterpart makes a request, you mirror it back. You repeat it back by repeating uh, the words. For example, if the customer says, hey, Chris, I would really like a 20% discount. You say, I'm sorry, you would like a 20% discount? Very simple, but very powerful. So I actually had this happen to me. Uh, I don't remember if I shared this before, but I sent out something to get done by a freelancer. It would cost $20. And they came back with an email asking if they could, if, if I could compensate them more an extra $20. So I just typed back in the email, so you would like me to compensate you an extra $20? And 24 hours later, they responded, I understand if you, if you don't want to pay it. That's okay. So... Very powerful negotiation technique. So technique number two is called labeling. And what labeling means is when you're in a negotiation, um, it's very often we tend to ignore the other person's emotion. You know, again, the number one thing in, in negotiation is not using logic. We always try to negotiate and argue with logic and we'll always lose. Uh, negotiation is a very emotional process, just like Chris Voss talks about in, you know, hostage situations or he shares a story of uh, some bank robbers. They take hostages and they're very in intense, very stressed out. And the negotiator has to be very calm, cool, collective, like, like a DJ on smooth jazz, late night jazz. So that's how... It, you have to kind of talk like a DJ. And in labeling is you label, you identify the other person's emotion by verbally saying it. So for example, you seem angry today or you look frustrated or it sounds like you are tired. So you use these expressions. It seems like, it sounds like, it looks like. And you label the emotion of the other person, whether it be anger, frustration, tired, fatigue, confused, frustrated. So you want to call these out in any negotiation situation. Maybe they're angry. It seems like you're angry. And then just like with mirroring, after you label that, you say the emotion, you wait, you're silent. And you give the other person time to validate what you just said. And sometimes you might be wrong. You know, it seems like you're angry. No, I'm not angry. And then you just say, oh, it just seems like it. 
and you apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, it just seems, seems that way. But most of the time, um, uh, as you practice this labeling, at first it seems uncomfortable because we, we don't, we think that if, if I say something about your, what I think your emotion is, the other person might get angry or, or be offended. But just the opposite, it actually builds rapport. Uh, the, the other person actually will feel like, wow, you're actually, you're very observant. You're, you're aware of my emotion, even though I didn't say it. So uh, definitely labeling requires uh, observation skills. You got to improve those, look at a person's body language, the tone of their voice, uh, their facial expressions. And based on that labeling, so for example, negotiation situation, seems like you're stressed because a lot of times in negotiation, people, businesses will make a uh, demand because it's coming from their boss or they're under pressure. Maybe they, they won't get their bonus. They won't make their number this year. So they may ask you as a business partner, they ask you, hey, we need to increase prices or you, uh, you need to increase your volume of purchases. So for example, oh, we need you to buy an additional million dollars worth of product this year. So Ymir, I'm sorry, you want us to build, buy an additional million dollars worth of product this year? How am I supposed to do that? Silent. It seems like you're stressed. You wait. Yeah, well actually I'm under a lot of pressure. Okay. So basically again, through mirroring and then labeling, it builds rapport the other person and through that rapport just like in sales the other person will will open up and become vulnerable and through that you can have a more powerful negotiation get what you want or what your company wants so again labeling uh, oops I closed the iPad but never split the difference depending or negotiating as if your life depended on it by Chris Voss. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this was episode 14 or 15, I forget. I think episode 15. Uh, I hope you tune in tomorrow. And then on Friday, I'm actually doing a chess tournament, the Senior Open Chess Tournament in Japan. I haven't played chess in a while, so a little nervous, but... Uh, I'll try to get a podcast in on Friday, but I'm not sure what time. But anyway, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Stay cool.